Summer in the bottle, here we go. Okay, so today I have a list of fragrances, which is a massive list. You're gonna sit here for a while with me, but it's worth it, trust me. These are the fragrances that are so appropriate for summer that I wouldn't wear it any other season, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much the intro. Let's get into it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because this girl also needs love. She gets a lot of love, but she loves to receive like a divine feminine. So yeah, let's get into it. This is my ultimate summer in a bottle perfume list. So let's start with a sample. I did go through a couple already, just so you know, I don't recommend just from one little sample, no. This is from Sospiro and I got this in Milan. And this fragrance, I don't think it gets any hype, but I'm the worst person to tell you if something is hype or not. So yeah, cause you know how I am. I literally don't watch anything. <laughs> Contralto. Contralto is my new love. Actually, I'm gonna wear it now. The best sweet citrus aromatic you can ever imagine. This is impeccable of a citrus. It is so long lasting like also speed of fragrances, but this is really long lasting for a fresh scent. And if you love those quite citrusy, but enveloping solar scents, then Contralto. Contralto, you need to have it. I don't want to rant too much about it. I really want to get a full bottle. And until I do, I think that might be the last time I talk about it because I really wanted to let you guys know how good it is, but I hate showing those same samples. So yeah, let's wait for a bottle. But Contralto from Sospiro, amazing, amazing. I didn't think much of it. I didn't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I fell in love, I fell in love. So that's the first one. The second one that I only have a sample of is from Simone Andreoli, Eau de Parfum Intense. This is the intense version. And this is called Leisure in Paradise. And this is so good. This scent is right up my alley. This is one of my favorite scent profiles. Um, it is considered a gourmand, but it's 100% summer gourmand. It is papaya, it is coconut, it is vanilla. It is Caribbean woods. So not just any woods, it's Caribbean woods, okay? So I don't know, motherfucking palm tree, I don't know, but it's amazing. It's amazing, I adore it. One of my favorite from the brand. Uh, even though I pretty much love like all of them, this is one of the best. It's so well done. For a summer scent, it is just exquisite, long lasting, moderate projection, uh, for niche, it's not too expensive, especially we with the prices these days, you're good. So yeah, Leisure in Paradise, phenomenal summer scent. It's like pina colada, uh, just being out and about on the beach. You'll be in heaven, in Caribbean heaven, truly, truly. You have to try it. All right, the last one that I have from the samples only is Solar, Soler from Breco. And I love the brand Breco. If you do not know already, I'm low-key obsessed. Um, and this is incredible. It is like sweet solar fragrance, but it is so incredibly interesting. It, it, it has so many facets to it. It is just phenomenal. I did want to include um, the fragrance that I have full bottle of from Breco, which is called Noches de Nerola, but I cannot find it anywhere. It's still not on the website. I don't know what the heck they're doing with it. So I'm giving you an alternative, which is just as good. It, the Solaire one, phenomenal. It's like a little bit powdery, but very solar, very beachy, oceany, sweet, quite citrusy as well. 
fruity, mm, just summer in a bottle, as the name of the video suggests, summer in the bottle. So that's Braco. The next few ones I will give you from designer range. And the first one is Mugler Goddess, the original Mugler Goddess. I do have the intense eye. I probably will order Flora Futura. Is it Flora Futura? Flora... I don't know. The newest one, which is like pinky-ish goddess. Very good. Okay, I know, I know. I, I also did trash it like everybody else because it has nothing to do with Alien. But I do love it because of that gorgeous coconut that is in here. And again, I would not wear the scent any other time than summer. I mean, it happens sometimes, but very rarely. This is another summer in a bottle. I really, really like it. I enjoy it so much. I love wearing the intense version of it for the nights out, but for the daytime, this is perfection. It lasts for around five to six hours and then you have to top it off. So if you keep that in mind and you're still happy with that purchase, then, then we're good. But it, it's a great fragrance, like a standalone fragrance. If we uh, compare it to the whole Alien range, then no, it's terrible. But as a standalone fragrance, very nice. Another coconutty beachy scent from designer is Esteloda Bronze Goddess Nui. And this is the best bronze goddess ever. There was one that I really loved. It was just like full on mirrored gold bottle. Although some people used to tell me that I smell like a dog. So I don't know about that, but this doesn't smell like a dog. It's so good. It's a deeper version of it's actually a deeper version of Alien Goddess. It's a deeper version also very, very similar to Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So if you don't wanna splurge on Soleil Blanc, get this because it's like almost identical. Um, it's not as nutty, but it's more ambery, which I actually might prefer for summertime. Although even though not listed, I do get some like slight nuttiness here. It's creamy, it's santan lotion-y, it is coconutty milky, it has those beautiful tropical florals that also give you that milky creaminess. So, so good. Uh, the longevity is actually quite similar to Alien Goddess. So again, five to six hours, then you have to respray. Uh, but this is not an expensive scent, so I highly recommend it, especially if you compare it to Tom Ford, right? And you pretty much get the same thing. You know, it is it is a, the same lab, same company now. So, yeah, lovely. Okay, oldie but a goodie. And um, are we done with designer? No, we're not. Uh, but another oldie but a goodie that I love, I always have it in my collection, um, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Skip all those flankers that are now released. Skip all of that. Just get the intense version of Light Blue and you'll be the happiest. Okay, that I can assure you of. This is the one that you'll be surely, surely happy with. So this is just a beautiful musky citrus, but a very sweet citrus, like almost honeyed, almost gloopy. I love it though. It is fresh though. It is sweet but fresh. Uh, it has some apple to it. You know the drill. It's such an old scent. But this one is actually intense. So it's my summer in a bottle for sure. Uh, next citrus comes from a very expensive brand. But again, I don't ever wear it other than summertime. And it's so beautiful. It almost hurts. Solstice from Fragrance de Bois. This is, I think, the most beautiful bottle that I have in my collection, apart from my own fragrance kind intentions, which is like the most beautiful bottle. But this one is a close second. This is such a beautiful citrus. Um, it is a sweeter one. It is unisex, but I don't think, I don't think um, many men would actually choose this especially because of the bottle, you know, us women are usually a little bit more spiritual, so it might uh, speak to us a bit more. 
This is like an aromatic citrus, but it does have some nice woody sweet facets, woody and sweet facets in the dry down. I really love it. Is it long lasting? Yes, but it doesn't project that much. But it's beautiful, it really is beautiful. If you have the budget to splurge, which good on you, then get it. Because you know, even the bottle itself is worth having. It's so beautiful that I just wanna have it in my collection always. It's so gorgeous, I cannot, I cannot. I'm gonna put it out now. Okay, um, next, I have Mancera Coco Vanille. And okay, with this one, fair enough, I do use it um, other seasons than just summer because it does have quite a heavy vanilla in the dry down. So the top mid, summer in a bottle, okay? But the dry down does get quite, um, you know, every season appropriate. But uh, this is way better for me than holidays that I used to hype up at the beginning of my channel. This I do prefer. It's way less aquatic, it's more vanillic, way more vanillic. It's like vanilla dominant here with coconut and some tropical florals like tiare or something. Mainly tiare. Oh, so good, so good. Quite artificial, but amazing. And the longevity is great. So yeah, Coco Vanille, not a bad price and very, very good perfume if you like your vanilla coconuts, right? Not too suntan lotion-y though. So this is surely more suntan lotion um, than Coco Vanille. Next coconut that I have is an oldie but a goodie and very cheap. This is Dolce Garden from Dolce Gabbana. This is so beautiful. Um, very unique for a creamy coconut actually. It's frangipani milky goodness. So beautiful. This I actually really want to get another bottle of because I'm very much running out. And this has very nice longevity, very nice projection. It's not expensive. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting another bottle. So get yourself one as well. You will never regret it. I promise you. Next, I have one of my favorite brands because it's a Polish brand and I love the team. I love the owner. So hi guys, if you're watching this, I actually got it with my own money. So no shaming me in the comments. Okay. I got it with my own money and this is Cecil Caramel and this is incredible. One of the most unique summer in a bottle fragrances. Um, this is Marine aquatic but caramelly. This has such incredible sillage. It is so different than anything for summer that you've smelled. Trust me. A little bit woody, a little bit creamy. Just to die for. Just to die for. Sweet yet very refreshing. If you like caramel and you want something perfect for summer, not any other time of the year, trust me, this is very much for summertime, then sea salt caramel from Boho Boco. This is, apart from all the fragrances I have from them, this is still my favorite. And it was the first one and it's still the favorite. Sorry, but this is the truth. Okay, this is sun in the bottle, Olympia Solar. Very, very beautiful twist on my original Beauty Olympia. This is Eau de Parfum Intense and okay, it is intense-ish. <laughs> uh, it does last. Uh, it's not as salty and it's not as vanillic as the other Olympias. This is a little bit more floral, like tropical floral, um, very beachy. This is like sun. If sun had a smell, it would be it. It is based on benzoin in the dry down. So again, not as vanillic, it's more of a, you know, uh, resinous uh, sweetness. Phenomenal. I really, really love it. I love wearing this. I love mixing it with other scents that I have on this list actually. 
So phenomenal fragrance for every day. You'll be good to go. Even for summer parties, you'll be so happy. Okay, um, this is, I think, the most floral scent that I'm gonna show you, but very tropical and clean. This is Latin Lover from Cana Barcelona, and I do have a discount code with them, so abuse it while you can because uh, it's so worth it. It's so worth it, the, the um, big fat bottles that you're getting for the price and with the discount, you'll be so happy. And they're very unique. So Latin Lover is a um, tropical floral, again, clean, oriental garden. Phenomenal fragrance. It's a clean muskiness with all those gorgeous um, tropical florals. <laughs> so beautiful, so, so beautiful. I know my friend here on YouTube, Greta, also really likes this. I saw her uh, showcasing this in her, one of her videos. So, you know, it's very well loved across the board um, because even though we both like sweet, we like different kind of sweet most of the time. So. If we both like this, then you will most probably like it too. So yeah, Latin Lover, beautiful floral for summer. Again, I wouldn't really wear it any other time than summertime, just because it has such a high impact of tropical floraliness to it. So I love it and it's long lasting, very long lasting. So I'm very happy. Uh, Latin Lover and of course the name, come on. Like when else would you wear Latin Lover than summertime, right? Okay. Um, Goldfield and Banks, Ingenious Ginger. This is a new release and I am head over heels in love with it. I'm just gonna spray myself with this as well because why the hell not, why the hell not? This is so refreshing. This is so amazing mm, and so refreshing. This is a blast of a lemonade with ginger. Uh, it is a little bit tingy on your nose, but it starts off quite sweet and it gets sweeter and sweeter with time. So um, in the end, you get that beautiful, sweet, sweet, slightly woody of a base. Phenomenal creation and very much of a beast mode. I love this. I truly, truly love this fragrance. So Ingenious Ginger, genius of a fragrance and genius release from Goldfield. I love it so much. Okay, next I have from Navitus and this is definitely my favorite citrus from the brand. This is Siesta Drive. And my bottle is a little bit, you know, wonky looking. And that is because um, I traveled with it. And this is a very sweet citrus. To me, it's actually definitely feminine. There's greenness. Um, there's actually like a lemon mascarpone or something in here. Very like a... I would say it's a citrusy dessert, okay? It's like a lemon meringue. Yeah, it's like a summer citrusy lemony tart or something. So good, so, so good. It is a lemony citrus in general fragrance that is lean and gourmand. So if you want something very unique, then you're gonna love it. You're gonna really, really love it, and especially for the price. Uh, like if you, let's say, get this and my newest fragrance, Kind Intentions, you get 30% um, off both fragrances. So you're not even paying, I don't think you're even paying $90 for this bottle. So come on guys. Siesta Drive, it's, it's an older one, but I still love it so much. I love using this. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. They did such a great job with this to the point I regret it wasn't me who created it. So yeah, Siesta Drive, phenomenal one. Like, again, a citrus gourmand. Love it. Um, I have only two scents left, I think. Um, the first one, just gonna breeze through it. Pot Salé from Theo Cabanel, summer in a bottle, wouldn't wear it any other time than summer. 
Um, this is marine, aquatic, super fresh yet extra long lasting coconut scent. It's a salty, sweet coconut with aquatic marine touches. Incredible. I love it. I love it. It does have some creaminess in the dry down, but in general, it's a very, very fresh scent. And the lasting power is, is just phenomenal. So, Posele, look how much I've used. And I only had it for maybe like two weeks tops. So, yeah. Okay. Um, this, this is so good. And this is actually inspired by Oman. And this is called Sun Bleached. This is from Only Nomad. And Sun Bleached is a musky, a little bit vanillic, French Japanese scent. Phenomenal. It does have some powderiness to it. Um, if you love French Japani, you are gonna be in heaven. Uh, it is so beautiful and very sophisticated. This is sophisticated summer in the bottle. And with Only Nomad, of course, I have a discount code for you. So check it out. I love the brand so much. So Sun Bleached has been created by Jérôme Di Marino, who I also worked with when creating my fragrance Kind Intentions that I mentioned before in this video. Um, so, you know, it's close to my heart, um, obviously. But I love it regardless of who made it. It's so, so good. Again, like clean, musky scent. So good, so good. And unisex, but it's sweet, quite sweet. Clean, sweet one. Um, uh, okay, last but not least, guys, it's from Orientica. Cheapy but a goodie, Melody the Orientica. And this is the most summery concept version of Love Don't Be Shy from Killian because it is the freshest one. It is the most citrusy one, very uplifting, um, but it, you still get that beautiful base that you have in Love Don't Be Shy or Memo Sintra. Actually, I would even say that Orientica is more similar to Sintra than Love Don't Be Shy. So, and also the juice is very heavy. It, when it leaks, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually like very, very heavy, dense juice. This fragrance is incredibly long lasting and it's not expensive and you do have a beautiful bottle to it. So yeah, if you like Memo Sintra or Love Don't Be Shy, then get yourself Melody the Orientica because of course it's way cheaper than both of them. I highly recommend it for summertime. Again, as much as I would wear Love Don't Be Shy all year round, this not really, this is more for the summertime for me because of that um, greenness and sharpness and citrusiness. I love it though, I love it. Okay guys, I think we're done here. I think we're done and I hope you liked it. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. But before we go, drop me a comment. What is your ultimate summer in a bottle fragrance? I would love to know and see you next time. Bye.